Today, the executive chat, we're going to meet Alicia Chari, general manager of eBay Italy and Spain. Alicia, thanks for visiting Bocconi University. Thanks, Gian Mario, for having me. I'm very happy to be back here. Let me get started with a question on eBay, which has been one of the first internet startups back in 1995, uh, an online auction model. How did it evolve over time in the company? Sure. So, as you said, we, uh, eBay was launched in 1995 uh, by our founder, Pierre Omidyar, and the first item that was sold on the marketplace was actually sold by Pierre, and it was a broken laser pointer to a collector of a broken laser pointer. Um, so, uh, we started uh, as, uh, of course, uh, an auction model, and we are uh, still uh, very strong in collectibles, but so far, uh, the, the growth and the milestone uh, towards today have been plenty. I think the first one that was to be remembered is the uh, ad in uh, uh, 2000 of the function of uh, uh, Buy It Now. Uh, that was a, a simple feature that allowed the buyers and sellers to trade item at a fixed price. So with that simple innovation, uh, we switched from the auction model to the marketplace model that, is, uh, uh, that we know today and it's very popular at the moment. Um, another important feature was the launch of uh, eBay stores. Uh, that was uh, basically a feature that allowed sellers to have their own uh, shop within the marketplace. So uh, an important step for uh, uh, the building of the um, uh, business of B2C. So business uh, to consumer model together with the classic C2C, so consumer to consumer. Nowadays, eBay is a global marketplace. It's a wide community whose purpose is to create inclusion, economic inclusion, and opportunity for everyone in the world. So from collectibles to a global community, that's pretty fascinating. Can you share with us some numbers and what's next for eBay? Sure. Uh, globally, we have uh, 147 million active buyers, uh, and uh, when it comes to sellers, they are 17 million. So it's uh, quite an important size uh, for our community. In particular, then in Italy, we have 5.5 million uh, buyers. So I am very proud to represent uh, quite a big chunk of the Italian family. What's next for us? So what we have observed uh, uh, recently in our business for, uh, is that for both buyers and sellers, it is very important to operate uh, to in, and to, to trade within a space that is uh, very much designed around uh, their passion and uh, what really facilitate and express their business. So we have been working on uh, those that we call focus categories. Uh, this uh, approach has started in the US uh, where they have started building experiences is dedicated and designed around uh, certain verticals, for instance, uh, sneakers, uh, watches, luxury bags, uh, where they, uh, uh, in particular, they design the features like uh, authentication of goods uh, over a certain threshold. What's very important at the moment, and it's trending, is uh, the world of trading cards. And it's trending also in Italy. And uh, since we are here, this is a way that uh, allows us to connect very much with the younger generation. In Italy, at the moment, trading cards are exploding uh, among uh, the, the youngest. And another word that in particular in Italy, we feel that it's important and speaks to younger people is the word of refurbished. So the possibility to buy and also to sell uh, items that have been used uh, maybe a few times that still have a value and uh, deserve a second life uh, at a cheaper or smarter price. So it's a, we think it's uh, very important to create experiences that are relevant for uh, our sellers and buyers. And uh, I think in a couple of days, we will launch uh, a new feature exactly for uh, uh, refurbished items here in Italy. And how innovation is uh, developed? I'm asking because typically we think that innovation in digital comes from the US or China, uh, Europe less important. And instead, I understand that it might be very important also in your experience as a leader of uh, other companies like UK, Investir Collective. Sure. So, uh, of course, uh, we are an American uh, company and the uh, U.S. is uh, uh, very important to us. But what, what our approach to market is to be very uh, customer-oriented and customer-focused. So, uh, we actually don't simply copy-paste uh, innovation or approach that we made from the U.S. that may not be relevant for each market, but we... Uh, maybe learn playbooks that have started to and have been developed in the US, but then always adapt and start from our customer need, our customer point of view. Of course, the Italian customer cannot be uh, necessarily always uh, the same of the US. So it's very important to be uh, customer-centric and listen to the local uh, uh, market. 
Um, you mentioned also uh, my previous experiences. Of course, it's been for me exciting to be part of uh, uh, European companies that in their own way innovated and uh, represent uh, uh, the, the, the innovation power of, uh, of Europe. What is very uh, fascinating to me in hindsight is to see um, how much uh, many companies in the digital environment at the moment are converging towards the marketplace business model, which is the one that we actually have uh, uh, launched uh, back in uh, 2000, so many, many years ago. So that's, that's very interesting and show how much this model is resilient and still very successful and uh, actual. Alicia, I understand that at eBay you do a lot of things in terms of diversity and inclusion. What is something differential that you have been involved in? Sure. So uh, at eBay we have uh, what we call community of inclusion and one of them is Women at eBay. Women at eBay is a community of employees uh, who are uh, working to progress in gender balance within eBay, but also outside uh, through our marketplace, uh, but also looking at the wider community where we operate. And uh, uh, I am personally the president of Women at eBay in Europe, and I feel very much the privilege, but also the responsibility of playing this role. And uh, last year, what we wanted to do in Italy, for instance, is really to leverage on uh, this, no? so to be uh, a marketplace and to play a role into the uh, uh, gender uh, equality. And what we uh, created is a project that is basically involving students and entrepreneurs and offering uh, for them uh, education, training and mentoring to succeed in STEM um, uh, subjects at, at university, but also to have the support in doing business on our marketplace so that we can really support the wider community that is around us in eBay, but also outside. Alicia, thank you so much for visiting Bocconi University and I look forward to having you back on campus. Thank you so much for having me and I'm happy to come back anytime.